word. Welcome to the B-side word. We are a group of friends from Sydney. Not really anymore. I didn't say the word. Sitters. I said Sydney. <laughs> we were a group of friends. Now we're a group of friends with some enemies. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to discuss some interesting articles. I'm here with Ems. Hello. CJ. Hello. And our special guest today is Judd Judd. Hola. Hey, Hello. So what happened to everyone else? Max, he's on holiday. He is currently in Sicily. Ooh. Alexander is on a hiatus. Hiatus. That's Hi-atus. the word. Hi- yep. Huh? He uh-huh. should be back. Okay, so I have an article yeah. that will blow your mind. It blew mine. Maybe it won't. We'll see. So this master mariner and marine salvager, whose name is Nicholas Sloan, nicknamed the Ice Pirate, um, basically wants to go to Antarctica, grab an iceberg, and drag it home to South Africa. Then... <laughs> is, is, is this guy... Is, is that physically possible? Is this guy did it? <laughs> then melt it down to become drinking water for the South African people. Questions, oh, please? <laughs> Mate, I try to get ice from the petrol station and try to, like, <laughs> on a 40-degree day, come and, back... And, and, melts. and it melts. This guy wants to bring an iceberg. How far is Antarctica to um, South Africa? Uh, uh, let me answer this question. Far. <laughs> is it going to melt? What's happening with this guy? No, no. That's not the issue. How is he going to as, as he drags it through the water... It's going to break? No, no. It's going to melt because the water temperatures are heating up. So the further, the closer it gets to South Africa, the more it melts, he's going to come back with a cube. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If he's so, lucky. basically... Yeah, he's an idiot. His ice cube. Okay, actually, first off, this is important to know. He's not the first one that's thought about this. Actually, this it, this has been thought of by government and by other people as a feasible uh, way of um, I, I, tackling. I've seen this in a movie called, I think it's Baxter's Millions. Yeah. Where he has to spend a million dollars to inherit his family fortune. And so he tries to invest in businesses, but he has to spend a million dollars, I think. And lose the whole lot. He what? can't have a dollar to his name, right? By the end of it, just a million dollars. He yeah. has to but spend it made, and it was, lose it a million. Made, it was made in the eighties. Oh, okay, I was gonna say a million dollars. And right? then if he does that, he gets his parents' fortune. No, no, he gets his family fortune. You buy a house in Sydney. No, no, no. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. no but he's not allowed what? to have anything to his name. He's not allowed to own anything to his name. Yeah, buy it for someone else. He can't buy it for someone else. Oh, yeah. this this is getting harder and harder, see? <laughs> yes, you're making. A- the, 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 that's what the thing was. He actually had to lose a million dollars and have nothing, own nothing. So a million dollars in roulette. Just give it to so someone. So what did he do? Yeah. He wasn't allowed to gamble it. Oh, what the? He, he wasn't allowed to give it all to charity. Yeah. He literally had to lose a million dollars. So he's investing in businesses which were doomed to <laughs> how, fail. How if you had a million dollars in your pocket and they just started falling out of your hands? <laughs> <laughs> you have to show records of how you lost it. Video me. No. <laughs> Right, so he invested in a business where they were grabbing an iceberg from up in the <laughs> North Pole. Yeah. Flying it into the desert. Yeah. To create drinking water, right? Yeah. And he's like, this is a stupid idea. So he invested into it. And, and then what And happened? it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and he actually made money. So all of a sudden, he had to lose more than a million dollars. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's right. So basically, it has, as I said, been thought of as quite a feasible solution. However... It's the whole issue of actually transporting it back. But this guy, he's a marine salvager. He even helped, you know, he helped with the refloating of that Costa Concordia in um, Italy that sort of like went down, half down, whatever. Anyway, so he comes up with this bold plan. And this might actually happen this year, by the way. Um, He, to make it economically feasible, the iceberg has to be big enough Right, because what you said, melting and what's and it's going to cost a lot of money that people are investing. It has to be one kilometer long, five hundred meters wide, and two hundred and fifty meters deep, weighing around one hundred twenty-five million tons. Wow! Wow, you're right. It has blown my mind. Yeah. So uh, I think he's wanting to do this. He is from um, South Africa and over there they're in um, severe drought uh, from 2017 um, and it nearly led to Cape Town running out of water. 
Um, and they're on massive restrictions of 70 liters a day. How much is that? Like how much, how many bottles. liters do you reckon we yeah, use? 70 bottles. Of like but like how much, how many liters do you reckon an individual, I like say one of you. I use 70 liters in the, in the shower. Yeah. Do you reckon you use more than that? Nah, because our tank's not that big. Oh, how big's an average water tank? Uh, 180, I think. Mm. So you, you use all the water? Nah, nah. He has long showers. What are you doing in there? Thinking. Of what? I'm sure life. we've talked about this before. We've thought about this. We've talked about this. I talk about life and creative You talk ideas. about life? You talk to myself? Yeah, because Maxie said there's waterproof notepads because he goes, I just need a, a, a writing pad with something that's waterproof. And Maxie goes, no, there is. <laughs> yep. So, so the reason why we're going to drought in our country is because of you. <laughs> <laughs> Short answer? Thanks, yes. Dev. <laughs> Thank you. I can no longer water my garden... In the day, because you want to have forty-five minute showers, you don't. You don't normally water your plants during the day, anyway. See? I know, but <laughs> I was trying to make a point because <laughs> they burn your plants if you water it during the day. Don't tell me things I taught you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so tell me more about this. So it's going to cost two hundred eighty-five million dollars. How much? Two hundred eighty-five million. And how much are you going to sell the water for? Two hundred eighty-five. I million. don't think the plan is to. S- <laughs> oh, I don't know if he's going to sell it. Of course, he's going to sell it. If, you, inve- if, water you, water sell- if you invest two hundred eighty something million, yeah, I think you want to make it. money. Okay, I think he's going to sell it. Now, my question is this: Yeah, how is it going to affect the whole planet? Well, I have some stats. Won't won't they the, like the ecosystem? Won't they? Won't more ice? Won't more water over there in the north 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 Pole freeze up? Yeah, but you're talking like millions of years of compressed snow. Mm-hmm. But apparently mm. the... Okay, so there's some stats here. So the human population is currently about 6 billion and we use approximately 3.240 cubic kilometers... I have no idea what the hell. ...of water each year, right? From an, from a total annual renewable resource of forty one thousand cubic kilometers, so we only use a whole human population only uses three point two four zero cubic kilometers from forty one thousand annual renewable resource. Okay. Yeah. Antarctica. So, so we get, yeah. Has about thirty million cubic kilometers, which is ninety percent of the Earth's ice and seventy percent of its fresh water. Mm. So essentially, there's enough ice there to last like years. I'm not the mathematician, really, Maxi, for that. But then it can be renewed as well at the same time. Yeah, but I don't know. That, like, I have the same worry about you. Like, well, surely you can't just use all the icebergs and then where do the polar bears and like all the seals and all the penguins and all that go and everything like that? Oh, I don't right. know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the impact, yeah. but I guess it is definitely a feasible short term solution. Um, and apparently the population's about like going to double to about ten to twelve million in the next in like fifty years. Ten. So they have ten to twelve billion. Sorry, (laughs) people stop having sex. Billion. So currently you're at six. Baby boomers. In fifty years, they reckon we'll be at ten to twelve billion. Oh man, dude, that's way too many people. Yeah. Now they have Thanos. Thanos. Yeah. (laughs) Thanos. Who's Thanos? What? Who's Thanos? Someone click their fingers (laughs) to make it work. <laughs> oh, here. Yours, your, yours is broken. <laughs> We're all here still. <laughs> the, uh, I give this half. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've been working on ways to to transport it, and they've been doing this plastic method where they try and wrap the iceberg in plastic. So we're, tra- we're trying I, to get rid of plastic com- and now we're going to use it to transport ice. Yeah, I haven't read yeah. in depth enough about how they how they're doing that, but apparently it's not economical enough. A big bucket. But supposedly an iceberg, <laughs> even though it sits in salt water, doesn't contain salt. It yeah. is fresh water, but yeah. it does have germs or it can have germs yeah. in it. So that's why they have to um, melt it down or do something to it to be to make it drinking water. But I don't know. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that it is a good idea? It's this guy here. He looks mad. <laughs> I. He looks like the lift is not going to the top floor. <laughs> He looks partially insane. I think he would have to the be. The lift is I not going to the top floor. I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
as in he's mad mean? because it's not going or he's the not penthouse a penthouse? The penthouse is vacant. <laughs> <laughs> the lights are off oh. and no one's home. <laughs> I've never heard that saying. Me either. That's the first time I've heard that. I still don't get it. So the Didn't penthouse you? is vacant. The lights are not working. Oh, they're not working. Oh, yeah. There's nothing going on up there. What do you think, um, Judd? About the whole iceberg? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can give it a crack. <laughs> do you think it's a good idea to start um, <sighs> start cracking down the... Oh, I mean... So I'm more concerned with the fact that I, water re- levels might rise. And no, well, no, the the water level, in in actual fact, it might help with. This is what I'm thinking. This is what I've read. It might help with rising sea levels because that massive iceberg is going to melt in our warming climate, right? Anyway, yes. it's going to melt uh, into the sea. Okay, but where that water's going? He's proposing to take it and actually use it as drinking water yes, rather than it melting into the but sea. When and we urinate, where is that water going? What? 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 If everyone's drinking some heaps of water, they're yeah. going to be passing it through, correct? Which is being pumped into the sea, which is going to create more of a rise. No. Nah, <laughs> but we're not weighing out as much water as we're taking in. Nah, me. I don't no. Then how is it a renewable source unless we are filtering it? The rain. How, where does the rain come from? The sky. How does the rain get into the sky? <laughs> the, yeah, the, it's, it's definitely <laughs> renewable because well, there's more. The, the, Are you the, saying we're drinking our own pee? Yeah. yeah. No, the earth has way more um, water than it does land. Yeah. So there's, I don't think there's a shortage of water. Sage. What? But sea water is How, different. Have you, you've never thought of it. What do you mean? Okay, the rain is because water, I mean, the sun hits the water, which creates steam. Which goes into the sky, yeah, and then opens up and comes back down, which is like a natural filtering system, yeah, right. But the water we pass through, yeah, so it, then it hits the sea, then the sun hits the water, it goes into steam, it goes up into the sky, and then it rains. That's how it works. Yeah, but wait, I don't. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Wait, I don't. Think so you're saying it's only the pee that's going up into the sky? No, 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 no. It's all the <laughs> bad stuff is staying down there. It's taking the water. Yeah. Like it's salt. Like with salt, like if you get sea salt. Yeah. They leave the water in the sun. Yeah. Which will evaporate into yeah. the sky. And the salt stays. Can you look that up? Can you say is the pee yeah. no, no, is the no. pee going to the sky? No, if I'm Can wrong, look- <laughs> if I'm wrong, we're cutting that out. <laughs> Can you look I'm this pretty up? sure the pee is not the- going into the sky. Oh, no, see- the pee is not going into the sky. Oh, I want to see if the scientist p- CJ is correct. Science, Dr. CJ. Science CJ. Yeah. <laughs> no, but hey, that's how that's how water works. I I understand the cycle of how water works. No, no, no. The bacteria stuff staying here. Yeah. But this like it's going to the sky. The water itself. <laughs> does your does your pee become rain? That's what I googled. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe you googled that. <laughs> I don't see any hits on it. <laughs> that is the most direct. I never said your pee become ra- becomes rain. <laughs> it should be what happens to your pee. <laughs> Essentially, this is what you're getting at, right? No. <laughs> I didn't say your pee goes into your sky. I said your pee goes into the ocean. The ocean yeah. water gets heated up. And the water gets evaporated into the sky. I never said your pee goes into the sky. Oh that was your God. idea. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, man. Well, I'm not I I'm not seeing any hits on we're that. We're still cutting a lot of this article <laughs> out. No way, this is going in. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Does your pee go into your sky? Oh, the timer. Oh, one minute warning. So, um, I, I'm i actually interested to see where this could go and if they actually yeah. manage to tow it. I'm worried start. about the environment, environmental impact. I mean, if we can, I understand there are places out in the world that are in severe drought and if this helps great but as uh, it uh, what's the balance of the the animals that are native in the antarctic like how is that going to affect them so yeah. i'm really interested in seeing mm. maybe we'll follow up on this article to see what yeah, happens yeah let's have a follow up and see I'm if just they... how's going to get it across i'll be interested to see that as well like that would be, be kind of cool to watch on telly yeah yeah and how much he's taking 
Yeah. As well. And how much he's making? I think hey? there's yeah. A, yeah. a lot of ice in Antarctica. Yeah, but but I, I don't want it to become something that is just uh, because they think that the next war could potentially be on access to fresh water. So if this is something that actually works, then oh, no, it could it's cause it's other global issues. Um, so maybe, maybe on <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, just oh, yeah, maybe no, not do it. Okay, so this next article. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's like power to the people. Um, okay, this is Jaws Dev. Um, no, no. Do you remember this one, Dev, that Which you is? put in? It's about the hashtag ice cream challenge. <laughs> have, you, have you guys There's heard of this challenge? ice cream challenge? Trust you. There's so many challenges going on. Have you uh, heard yeah. of this ice cream challenge? No, no because there's like 55 billion challenges. Going <laughs> so these people. The every other week we, we talk about a new challenge. So these people, right, they yeah. go into the shops and they open the ice cream containers and they lick it and then they close it back up and put it back in there. Look. Okay, this is an example. We'll play it and we'll play it on the thing as well. This is disgusting. Oh, yeah. oh. Nah, that's, <laughs> that's messed up. So that's really gross. That's really gross. That is. I'm not buying disgusting. ice cream ever again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, these people should be charged with vandalism. So, so she have has been. every they single have. one of them. Yeah. So this girl yeah. and has been made pay for not just that ice cream that they slicked the whole batch because now we have to figure out you one are on a, <laughs> you're on another level today aren't you you are on a v- it's about time people accept the punishment of their co- um, consequence of their actions alan jones move over because we have another new talk back radio king oh that was a nice radio yeah, voice, yeah. Nice <laughs> voice. Yeah, yeah. i'm a high use my radio voice <laughs> no but so but, apparently oh, yeah, this lady go. this girl rather um, she was seen in the security footage. Um, that footage was turned over to the Texas Juvenile Department because they had to remove all of the all of those um, mm. ice creams from the location just in case it was that one. And um, they're trying to make a point that food tampering is no joke. It will be you will be prosecuted if you are doing it. Um, obviously for public health reasons. <laughs> <laughs> but now two, two policemen. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> two policemen <laughs> at the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> no, they only came, they only came for the photo. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not doing anything. Now there's funny things going on, like putting policemen in front of the ice cream doors in the supermarket. <laughs> that is hilarious. I think they were guarding that with a toy gun, <coughs> and it said only in Texas. Um, but now, since then, um, you know, since people have seen that challenge, other people are. Some people have done it as well, but other people are just like doing nice stuff or pretending to do it, but then just like buying it. Buying it yeah. yeah. So they'll open it and get ready and like look as though they're going to do it and then just like take it. But I don't know who comes up with this. That's like, didn't Ariana Grande. See, this guy's doing something. With his he bought it. It's his. Yeah. Now you can do what you want with it. Yeah. That's how, that's how it's meant to be done. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What did Ariana Grande do? Didn't she lick a donut? She did. She licked yeah. a donut and then and then left or something. Yeah. yeah. I would lick Ani. I would lick Ani. And put it and back. She put it back. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I would lick her. <laughs> oh my god. Just say, I would eat that donut she licked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> CJ runs in after going, which one was it? I it's, saw it. It's mine. I saw her post on Instagram. They'll have the police. Like, yeah, at the donut. <laughs> Just hold me back. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I don't know with these challenges because that's absolutely foul. Yeah, that's cool. that, is, that is disgusting. Imagine though, like you actually buy one and you ha- you don't know. What would Someone's licked it. Yeah, that's disgusting. Like I said, they, sh- they should throw the book at the people that get caught doing it. They do throw the book. Yeah. And then hit them with the book repeatedly. Okay, Judd, um, you brought an article this week, didn't you? Yeah. Or something to talk about? Well, I mean, it's not really an article per se, but I was 
I was sort of reading this like thing online about you know ghosts and like that sort of world. Yeah. Do you? I don't know. Do you, do, what, what are your thoughts on ghosts <laughs> or like the supernatural? <laughs> totally believe. Okay, but why? Like a hundred percent believe. But why? Sage, do you believe in ghosts? Hell no. <laughs> but why? Like uh, okay. because they're not real. <laughs> right, right. So I'm on the page with CJ, but oh, really? but if I'm in the dark and if I'm by myself, <laughs> you're like, what's that? I'm like, oh shit, is someone, someone watching me? <laughs> Hang on, do you are you thinking <laughs> oh, <it's shit. laughs> somebody that it's a person or something? Um, sometimes it's a person and sometimes it's oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> what about here. you, CJ? <laughs> Just not at all. There's no eerie feeling in a dark, like you're in a, a car park. Of course there's an eerie feeling in a dark alleyway. Because you're in a dark alleyway. Yeah, but why? You should, you but know, what's the eerie feeling? What's that feeling? That you've put yourself in danger. You reckon? Why is it danger? Because you're in a dark alleyway. So from someone. From so it's a, a someone, not some... Yes. Okay. So the eerie feeling is not the fact that, oh, I can feel a ghost. It's the fact that this is probably not a good place to be walking. Yeah. It's probably not the safest spot or to be. Or is it because there's a ghost watching you? No, it's because <laughs> <laughs> you're in an unsafe environment. Or is it because there's a supernatural being following you? No, it's because you're in an <laughs> unsafe environment. <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. I just, I feel like there's so many haunted places, haunted buildings. I love watching all the shows on it. Okay. Um, so yes. you stop busting the bubble. Let her talk. <laughs> Let her talk about it. Doesn't... It doesn't exist i understand but your what? point let her explain her point let her explain i've never seen a ghost and i actually I, don't I, think i would want to because it would freak me out but i 100 percent believe they do exist emma don't worry and i think going. it's I, be- yeah what do you i've think? um yeah. i was actually having this conversation with someone the other night yeah and and they believe they do they, they've had experiences yeah and i, I think say. there's people that do ha- are able to either like, see them or or communicate with them yeah 100 percent. like not even communicate it was just sort of like things where it was like um maybe they, they were hearing things. <laughs> <laughs> did you well, say I, that no I, I, so you I didn't did. believe her I, I do yeah i i kind of did i mean if they said it yeah and, and, and sure but like they've had experiences where i was like um like the door like someone was pulling on the door like the, on the bathroom door and they were like, like they wanted to go in the bathroom, and there was, and they were like, "Hey, let me in!" Okay. Oh. And then they opened the door, and no one was in there. Okay, was that the oh. wind? Though? Or maybe the, the door wind. Jammed? Yeah, I don't know what what sort of the situation was, but like that's bit. Because I just thought of my bathroom, and it's just literally a, a, like the toilet. Yeah, and I just thought of like me pulling that door and be like, "Hey, come on, <laughs> but this I, need, I need a waz. Come but on." This thing- <laughs> excrete my nitrogenous waste please and then opening it and being like i I'd, I'd book it i'm out of there <laughs> i'll find another toilet <laughs> yeah well, i reckon it's in the uh in I'll the leave. filipino culture i'll leave it, it's massively in the filipino it's culture it's in every culture absolutely oh, every yeah? single culture do you think it's like oh man it's like the, have you watched the scary movies the filipino scary movies it's like d de- it's degrade stuff right but it's hella scary. I walked like, into the kitchen when your dad was watching on once and I, ha- I like, ah, I freaked out. Like, I just like ran out. I mean, <laughs> like the, the blood looks crap. The makeup looks horrible. But it is so scary. Like the Filipino movies. Is it scary because the blood looks crap and the makeup looks horrible? <laughs> you're like, how the hell did this ever got released? <laughs> but I think you're supposed to say, like, if you do see a ghost, like, if, if you think, if you're not, if you don't want them around, like, please leave me alone. Okay. Um, I'm not scared of you, type thing. If, if, I, saw, scary if I saw a ghost, <coughs> in all honesty, I'm booking myself into a mental institution because there's no. something definitely wrong. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of. So the, my parents just went, they go to this regular pub, and like the landlords of the pub were telling them the stories of, of the ghosts in that pub. There's this uh, person that drinks there. Um, who is a ghost and they they're none they they're not really phased by it. Um but numerous people have seen that ghost there and like how can you explain so many after different many? people's sightings? Okay. After how many beers? And not just yeah. that. Do the people who have seen this ghost let's just um CG's hate CG is a, such a hater on this topic. <laughs> He's such He's a like hater. seen this what, ghost. What about, what about, what about this ghost? The, the ghost. <laughs> I've had the people that actually own this the pub. Figure. Um, and also that renting above the pub. And, and they're friends with the owners? 
Not really. They're because just... like maybe they're trying to drop a business. No, a it's pub. not a haunted part. Like they don't. I don't think they want <laughs> to promote it as haunted a haunted pub. pub. <laughs> Come <laughs> drink it. If not, okay. On Mallory's haunted pub. <laughs> okay, but if it's not ghost, why about like sort of like other things where it's like um when like people say like um what are they called when they can like read like people like or, like auras you know oh, what I mean yeah, yeah. like See, cause yeah. I've heard I've heard like multiple like people saying the same things like being like. I can see colors around people. Oh, like, cool. yeah, I've heard of that. Like, well, if everyone says the same thing, yeah, no, then they're that. fine. No, but like... Hey, hey no, I see colors around no, you. but I, I don't see... I'm psychic. No, honestly, <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I don't see colors. Like, I don't... What do no, you see? I just see... I see you. colors. <laughs> oh, so do you, do you read Did people's you know auras? What, do you know what, no, I don't read Do you know what Judd's talking about, the auras mm, and I stuff? I can't. No. So, like, if, it's a, um, if there's a bad person, they see, a, like, a certain color around bad people. Yeah. If it's a good person, they see a certain color. This is what people even, say. Even how people okay, are, okay. are feeling. If you, feeling if, as you, well, if yeah. you pay someone to see the color like, inside of you, no, 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 not to pay someone. It's like, a, it's like, a, it's like an actual, like, like I don't know, I, I, want, I don't want to say it, like a disability. But like it's like an actual like thing that they people see. Like it, they yeah. see colors, yeah. and and like they know how people are feeling. I wonder yeah. if um autistic kids like can see colors. I don't know. See, yeah, there's That's been sure. like like there's been some cases where like kids be like, I can see like colors around people. Yeah, no, and, and it's, I, I and it's the same that case too. Because to be honest, oh. right, we can't we we tap into what is it percentage of our brain? Three, five? <laughs> no. I've forgotten. Not there even. Is not obviously, not some. some <laughs> Like the majority of five percent, the we majority don't. of our brain, we don't, we ha- we can't tap into. I believe there are some people that are able to tap into other parts of their brain. Mate, if we could the, tap into twenty percent of, of our brain, okay, it'd be man, you'd be like, what? <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> the, the whole colors thing. Is it they're able to see your expression of your face? Yeah, and then see a color. No, no like they see people walking up to you, and no, before no, no, like you it, even talk to that person, they can see a color. I've, yes, yeah. but is it? Are they getting the color from the expression of your face? No, like, that's what I'm if saying. You, if you're walking, like, and you've got like a sad demeanor and a sad looking face, is that expression popping in their brain as a color? No, no I'm saying uh, not even that close I that you can see the expression. Say. Yeah. I see what you're trying to like, say. Like, they're able, like, let's say if you're smiling, they see a smile and they compare it to like the color blue, right? Like the happy. If they see you like sad and depressed, it's a color red. No, well, I anger no, no. So they're saying, like, even the person, like an evil person, person, if he's smiling, mm. they can see that his aura, which is like, not his physical, but his internal being, is like evil. It's the the surrounding, the they surrounding. See the color of so it. even if the person's sad, it's, like it's not energy. it's not his emotion. It's his aura. Like it's yeah, but it, it could be reading from body language. They might be able like to read. Body language and yeah, but I think these expression. people. Well, we're talking about kids as well. No, some but yeah, of them are real kids. I think these yeah. people there's, aren't like, like people mo- like a psychic like who you don't yeah. pay. It's just someone that has this ability, and a lot of them probably don't want the ability. Siege, uh, I'm on. Look, my logical thinking is on your side. Like, if it's not proven scientifically or some or some observation, yeah, there has it doesn't to be. Make... There has to be a way to explain it. I'm thinking these ki- these kids are able to read people's body languages. And but saying that, and, but saying that, scene, just because we can't explain it, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That is not like if you say if we can't, if we're not able to find uh, tangible evidence, tangible evidence now, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Does that make sense? It does. Does it? No. No. Ah, <laughs> there you go. Like University of California. They studied a man known as RF who has Asperger's syndrome. There you yeah. go. At the age of 10. Oh, I, I can't actually have to like, subscribe to read it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> at the age of 10? At the age of 10, uh, apparently, like, he could, like, see, see. people. Like, see, yeah. see like, like a glow, like a, like yes, a, like a physical glow. Yes, but is the glow, glow from around. facial expression? Yeah. All right, Siege. So, since we've established you don't believe in ghosts, do you believe in aliens at all? I believe there has to be something else out there. Yeah, hundred percent. You believe? Like we we can't be in this universe by I mean, ourselves. By ourselves. Hey, like speaking space of is a very aliens, big place, so that's be something else. Out speaking there. of aliens, though, like, yes. did you know that every like? Now I don't believe people have seen aliens. Yeah. I do, but I think there's something else out there. I think we've <laughs> seen them. Do, do, like all the like the um, what are they called? Like landmarks, like yeah. the the pyramids, the the what's the one with like Stonehenge? Yeah. They, they they all make like a perfect line around Earth, uh, apparently. 
Right. Like a perfect line. Now, is this is line that, crooked? <laughs> is that weird? No, no. Like, it actually is like a perfect what line. What do you mean? Like, if it was an equator? Like, like an equator. Yeah. It'll line all up. It lines all up. That's insane. Is that weird? Yeah. Is that and, also, and, and, also and, with and, the, pyramids, the pyramids, I was talking to, to my brother about this. Um, because I don't, we, anyway, it's on another topic, but we were watching that, um, Netflix, um, show. What was his name? The alien, the alien guy recently. Dr. Oh, Crazy? No, oh, I forgot his name. Netflix show right now. Kevin Hart? Um, oh, no, no, Someone no, no, that guy. worked in yeah, Area 51. Name? Yeah, the guy that, uh, oh, what's his name? Anyway, so I was just chatting to Alexander about it. And then Alexander had seen something or listened to something. And it was about like, for instance, the pyramids. Putting a long story short, right, let's say there were humans living here and they built things with higher technology. There's no way. And they moved on, right? And we are here, but the remnants of what they created, pyramids, Bob are still Lazar. here, right? So the way to think of it is they reckon that the apes are in um, the, the our version of the, the Stone Age. Okay, so they reckon apes or monkeys or whatever are in that moment right now. And if they continue to, like with their evolution, and eventually become similar to what we are, and they have their own stuff, most of our buildings, houses, stuff like that will have corroded. But a lot of the stuff that we built, there would be remnants of. But in their time, and they might be like, what the hell is this? Who built this? How did they do it? Type thing. We think that people built the pyramids block by block but but if you think about it a lot of people are like how is that how 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 is it possible so it's the blowing your mind stuff is it could well. have been yeah. another civilization I, it's, it's funny how you mentioned that because i actually saw pictures of like like uh, like in the pyramids of like like carvings and things like that of like like helicopters and and like it, it looks like like machinery that wasn't invented then at that point it's and I was bizarre. and I was thinking, is that real or is that fake? So the simulation before us, oh, it could have been a simulation. Yeah, they just they just ruined them, ruined themselves, and killed themselves off. Or they've found somewhere else. Like we're trying to find somewhere else. We're trying to find Mars. Oh, they've gone. They've gone. Like this could have been, like, a long, long time ago. So the Martians are actually old, old humans. Well, if it, like <laughs> Martians oh, from Mars, I is that, that, is that, but is that scary? mind blowing That's stuff. Scary. That's like, hella scary. And I feel like, and like the pyramids, they're like, it's perfect. Yeah. And like without like, I doubt they had rulers or like tape or anything like that. <laughs> CJ, is this blowing your mind or is this, are you just and like, not interested in how, it? How? How? And there's no way. Stage? Men, yeah. Like the, the blocks. Like I know. So how is that? I, I don't know. Possible. It's mind then, blowing stuff. Okay. But then there's like in Egypt, there's like other pyramids as well. Yes. That, that are actually man made. And you can see like that. I Nothing can make in that comparison. in my backyard. Like, you know what I mean, like, it's it's not as good. But like, the, the actual pyramids, I, 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 there's no way that that was. Oh let's man. let's imagine. There has what, to be. Okay, what's man-made, right? Let's say we were all gone. We'd all moved on to another planet, or we'd died off, right? What what man-made things that we've built in our in our time do you reckon would still be around? Like, what do you reckon would still be standing? Do you reckon like the Statue of Liberty? That's always like iconic, what would they isn't it? no, but what do you think would t the would stand Tower. the test of time that we've built, like dams or something like that? Nah, like not filled, but like they'd be like, what is this, this this structure? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
the full like ethnic wear and everything like that, music, 800 people in the community hall, um, speeches and all sorts. Um, and then I read on the article and then I was like, oh, this isn't, this isn't where I wanted it to go. But this, um, this person was diagnosed with a learning disability and he lost his mother at an early age and he just used to go to weddings and love them and just wanted it for himself. Oh. But that wasn't where I was going with that. Okay. But it just got me thinking about how he had, you know, the wedding but no bride and those services that you can like get and that you see on TV shows, <laughs> but I'm sure it's real of where you can pay someone to fill in for that position. So if you want like, uh, you want to pay someone to be your sister or you'll pay someone to be so your... Japan. That's massive in Japan, isn't it? So, so was that where it was? It was Japan. So you wanted him to get an escort. But no, but it doesn't even have to be an escort. Like not, you can just pay... Sex, yeah. You could pay to have like... A sister. A grandfather or like... A grandma. Yeah. In Japan. Because in Japan... It's very like uh, work orientated, right? And people don't have that much time, so or like they the don't family pressure, family pressures and stuff. So they they order. Yeah, you just like go to the company and say like, yeah, I want to um, order like a bride, or whatever. They have the wedding, so the fa <laughs> so the family's like, but the bride is being paid. She knows it's a gig, right? So, so she's an escort. No, 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 but it doesn't no, have to be. No. It could be like a grand, like I want to order a grandma and and then take her to yeah. grandparents' day or like whatever it may or be. Or dad, they get a dad could and they go anyone, wanna... sister, yeah. brother. Yeah, if like, you want to hire me as a grandma, best friend, best friend, best friend for yeah. a... I can be someone's best friend. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Ten dollars an hour. How much would you charge? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah. I'm going fifty. I'm premium. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, you're not. I'm oh, the. Bro. I'm the. Uh, I'm. I'm just the. Uh, like the trial. <laughs> <laughs> He's the sample. You're the main yeah, course. Yeah, you're the main. I'm <laughs> on trade main course. I'm the on trade. I'm going ten, mate. I'm one ten an hour. One ten. One ten. And and I'm um, I'm um, dessert. <laughs> <laughs> oh See, oh my five, god. Caesar's five hundred. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So oh, Lucifer. That was on Lucifer as well, eh? I think I it was think on it Lucifer. Was, and, oh, because they thought the guy had done the murder or something. That's but right. But he was like, I was just paid to be here. I was paid to be the husband. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But who, yeah, if you could order oh, yeah, anyone, weird. like, who do you think you would order? No one. No one. I don't need. Like, yeah. What? <laughs> I've got everyone in my okay. life that I need. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Hang on. Who would you want to be? Like, if you were like, all right, I just need some extra cash. Yeah. Would you say, or would okay. you be the person? Would yeah. You would do you that be the person? Job? Whatever they want me to be. Oh, like anything. <laughs> if you need, if you need wow. a bro. So the, if you need a, a grandma, if you need a grandma, a gay, a gay lover. Yeah. I'm not doing anything like, uh, oh. <laughs> 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 that, you're willing to. that's a bit extra though. <laughs> a bit more of a charge. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. Um, no, you know, I don't think I. I, I, <laughs> I do. He's trying to walk it back. I, <laughs> trying to walk it back. But I, I don't see why. Like, why do you have to buy someone? Look, there's one <laughs> here. There's a, there's a website here, rentafriend.com. Okay. Hey, do you remember like Kevin Hart, the Kevin Hart movie? And like he had to get um, the guy had no best friends. Isn't and that he had the to... rock one where he comes back from high school and he was the big and he was like no, 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 Kevin no, no, Hart? Yeah, it, it wasn't that quote. Um, um, best man. Best man. Yeah. Best man. Yeah. And like the guy, he was getting married, right? And he had no friends because he worked so hard and um, all his uh, high school friends just made fun of him. So he had no high school friends. So Kevin Hart, he was hired to build a, a bridal, party for bridal party for him. And he gave him the full experience and then they ended up being... Friends. They end up being friends at the Aww, end. Oh, that's really and sweet. I, th you know what I find hard? How not to have an emotional connection once that'd you be, yeah, see, that, once yeah, you pay really someone. Once you pay someone. Yeah, like and then where hard. does it like, where well, do you draw the line? I, yeah, if I was paying someone to be my friend, all I'd be thinking is, This is costing me. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> I, I gotta make it good. Like. I think these guys <laughs> though are like the guys that are renting friends are multi multi. I don't think they're but what? average Joes that are but then wouldn't you always be thinking, he doesn't find me funny. He's just laughing because I'm paying him to. Yeah. But what, like if you're a multi-multi, right, and you're making friends, aren't you thinking the same anyway? Uh, Is he just being friends with me because I'm a multi-multi? And not just that. He's probably using that friend to meet other people. Yeah. 
oh, to actually okay. get real relationships. Yeah. That's true. Mm-hmm. Look, here's, here's some people you can rent for friends. Oh. Victoria in Melbourne. She looks all right. <laughs> what, about, what about Kitty? <laughs> Kitty? Kitty 24. Looks a bit. Uh, looks like a character. <laughs> what? Is Gucci Who? Man in there? Gucci <laughs> Man? <laughs> How long? Alan, 19. See? They're Reason, all over. Reason. This is in Australia. I think, I think like a wingman would be pretty good. Yeah, wingman. Would Hiring be good. a wingman to go to the oh. club, that would be good. Because like when you get older, your friends, Literally, most of your friends are oh, wingman here. and wingwoman on the list. Yeah. Like oh, you're bowling. No. You can get a bowling buddy. A bowling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wine tasting person. Surely, surely, like opposed to buying someone rather than going out to like a social event and okay. talking to people. Okay, okay, okay. It's not buying them, it's renting them. Oh, sorry. Because yeah. buying them we had a long time ago and that was called slavery and that was wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah rent, so this is renting. <laughs> Judd, Judd, you're probably at your, you're probably getting close. You're starting your social, but you're getting close to your social uh, peak? peak. You're getting to know, you're going to meet a lot of people. Me? I think I've already found them. Honestly, you reckon? Is you don't reckon you're gonna meet more people? No, you're oh, gonna meet- I, I'll meet more people, but like I've got a really good like group at uni. Like even like the first couple months, wow. I was like, okay, the nucleus will change. No, yeah. like I haven't. I like, don't know. You can you like no, no, a lot of uni you, like, friends. You will still stay have friends. the same base friends. Yeah, but then you're gonna meet people who meet people who meet people. Maybe that's the case, but like I haven't like I have a mate from from uh from high school. Yeah. Like all through high school, and we're still best mates. Yeah. Like he's he's I, I, don't, like, I don't have any friends like, like that. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. From high school. Yeah. But yeah. we didn't like stay in touch <laughs> after high school. Oh, we really? didn't stay. We yeah. I called him up. I called him out of the blue, probably a year <laughs> after. I was like, and I was going to the club. I got a cup Oh, you know why? Yeah. Oh, that's right. We're in the interview, and then we said, "Oh, let's swap numbers." What and interview? then like the integral, the integral interview. Oh. And then, like a week or two weeks later, I go, I go, Siege, what are you doing? And this was like a year after, right? Yeah, a year after high school, we didn't talk. He was already out, and he was doing his. He was in um, telecommunication. He was doing his thing, and then we met, and then we. I just and then after that, we pretty much hung out every day, nearly every week. Yeah, every week yeah. after that. But so, it's funny that you say that, right? Besides CJ and a couple of other friends couple of other friends i never talked to anyone after yeah. high school it was yeah. just like bang high school's finished yeah. So yeah i i feel like high school was just because you see them every day yeah and then you sort of like it, it sounds really bad but you, you kind of like forced to be their friend you're, you know you're what i mean forced. like and, and after high school is when you you can really tell who's, who's your friend. really your yeah. friend yeah. you know what i mean are these people who like you know yeah say happy birthday on your birthday and like yeah. you know hey you say hey like walking down the hall and then after high school's finished, do they still stay in contact? Yeah. Do they still want to make plans? Do yeah. they still reach out and be like, hey, how are you going? Yeah. I mean, I've only ever had uh, like two people that, that, that reach that, out. That's re- well, yeah. What? Well, three. Um, um, like, there's obviously like my best mate, Nick. Like even, even like he doesn't go to uni with us and he's working like full time now. And you still um, make time. And we still make time on weekends. We're like, all right, do you want to be like 11 o'clock at night? We're like, hey, do you want to go grab something to eat? Yeah. And we know this like uh, this kebab joint that's yeah. open 24 seven. Yeah. And we're just like, yeah. We're, and we'll just sit there for, for hours. <laughs> but, yeah. But it's like, and it's yeah. yeah uh, like when you don't see that person for like, let's say two months and you meet up with them and it's like, you've never, it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it is. Yeah. That's exactly right. how it is with, with, but like, uh, that would be how it is, but we always keep contact okay, regularly. Yeah, yeah. And it's not because like we feel obliged to. It's because it's just because like, you, hey, hey man, how how was work? You know, like I want to know. Yeah, I want to know how, how you're yeah, doing. Yeah. And like, I'll be like, hey man, like I've got like exams coming up, so uh, you know. And he's understanding. And and he's like he's like yeah, he'd be asking me like, hey, do you want to like come go out tonight? I'm like oh, I've got this like exam coming up, so I've, I've got to prepare for it. Yeah, that's all good. So if you if you need a hand, it's not that I'll, he's any like help. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, well, that's what he would say. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be, it'd be like that kind of relationship. Like we're, we're like, it feels like he's like like my fam. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, yeah, yeah. It's very like I get that. F- familial. Like, you know, you know, doing. you're lucky because not many people get that kind of relationship yeah. outside of their family or even within the family. I find like even though we're uh, family, I don't know how many people that I'm actually close to mm. inside the family. If yeah. that makes sense, yeah. like you're you're only bonded by blood. You're, you're yeah. bound by blood. That's yeah. it. Otherwise, it's like. I wouldn't. I wouldn't actually 
converse with you. It's also like, I, I feel like age is also a big factor since, because this mate and I, like we've been through sort of similar things. We, we've gone, we've been with each other for like, you know, majority of our lives. Like you and me, for example, yeah. um, we didn't, like, no, we didn't grow we didn't, we didn't experience, like, no. we didn't do much and together, you know what I mean? Different life experiences. We do have, yeah, different life like, experiences. You're at an age where your life is about to get exciting in the sense where you're about to start having fun, you're about to meet new people, mm. you're about to get into a few relationships, have your heart broken, break a couple, what the of, hell? Break a couple of hearts. Are you breaking down his life already? Right? We've already, we've already experienced that. Yeah. No, me, man. Yeah, ex- exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hard, harder rock. Going, hard going back to what you were saying with uh, you find out... Um, you find out who your real friends are. Going like uh, five years ago, right? Five years ago when I was, uh, or six years ago now? Six years mm. ago when I was sick, right? I I realized who who were my uh, like who were my closest friends, and the and you sort of re reestablish, or not reestablish, you refocus, and you realize a lot of stuff about. Like the world doesn't stop. The first thing I realized, the world doesn't stop. It doesn't matter what you're going through, your your biggest biggest trials, right, or tribulations, whatever. It the world doesn't stop. And I was like, I I was like, yep. Who am I? I'm I'm just a speck in this world, right? But then I realized that time is so important, right? So when someone gives up their time to spend time with you, it's just like, geez, this guy could be could do anything in the whole wide world. Right, he could do anything. He doesn't have to be with you. He chose to be with you. Yeah. And you're like, you start to appreciate the time that people give up to spend time with you. Like he could be with his family, other friends. He could be earning money. He could, or she could be. You know, he could do anything. But they've decided and chose to spend time with you. And you're like, oh, oh, like when like it really hits you. You're like, all right, all right. I just can't waste this person's time. You got to appreciate the time being spent here right so yeah i went i went really dramatic there that's like even that's even i saw i saw like a like a like a post on uh i don't know if it was facebook i don't know i don't use facebook it was like instagram or something it was like you don't use facebook but barely barely i hate facebook man i don't i only yeah you've rubbed on us yes i only use the i've rubbed the message the message app yeah but um what was it it was like um you have less you tend to have less photos with like your closest friend, and uh, that really like hit because it's like, I wonder why that is. But you're it's like spending time you're spending, them. yeah, you're you're actually spending real time with them, yeah. And it's like you're not. It's like, what am I trying to say here? It's like you, you don't like you, you you're spending this time and you don't really think like, oh, I'm gonna get a picture with you to to remember this moment. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like same with like concerts and stuff. We're just at the kebab store, Judd. Uh, why do you want a photo here? <laughs> Have a photo? No, see, yeah. see, see, see what, and, what I've noticed as well, like I've gone to like shows and stuff yeah. and people are filming it. Filming, yeah. And watching it through their phone. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the point of going to the show if you're going to watch it on the screen? No. You want to experience it. Enjoy it. Yeah. Mm. 100%. Yeah. I'll nice. take a few pictures just to just have a memory of it. Yeah. Like from when I'm older. Yeah. But I want to enjoy the experience. Yeah. Not... not mm be more concerned about my camera angle. Yeah. 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 I see I I went to a concert and I will admit that I, I had my phone up for a majority of it. Yeah. And I never looked back at those videos ever again. Never. I've you never looked never at do it. That. I've never you looked never at do it. That. Then I went to another concert and I barely had my phone out. And mind you, at the first concert where I had my phone, we were right up the front. Like yeah. we could we could see we could see them. Um, and this, this, the second one was we were like kind of further up the back. It was kind of hard to see, and and the sound was a bit weird. But I had a better time that yeah, second yeah, concert, yeah, yeah. Yeah. just being in the moment and sort of just like feeling what everyone else was feeling yeah. at the same time. Feeling the energy, feeling mm. the energy. I feeling the vibe. I, no, like I barely had my phone at all. Like I, I, no, I just forgot I had I had a phone, Man. and I had a genuinely better time at yeah. that concert. everyone thanks for watching this week's episode of the b-side word make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button if you want to see more hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below hit the bell hit the bell hit the bell hit the bell